sitting here in Poets' Corner with memorials to hundreds of wonderful writers, it seems the perfect place to discuss the importance of, of children's literacy. And it's a subject very dear to my heart as an author of children's books, and I know Your Royal Highness is something that you care about passionately. I've always had a passion for books. Uh, books have been part of my life for so long. I started reading when I was very, very young with a, with a father who was a fervent bibliophile. So from, from the age of two or three, he used to sit and read to us children, take us on wonderful adventures sort of all over the world. And I think I was bitten at that age. And from then, I've, I've just kept going. And I've got um, involved in a lot of literacy um, programs and patronages. And I, I just feel very strongly that all children should be taught to read. And getting access to books is, is crucial for that. And we're joined live on screen from India by Ranjit, who won the Global Teacher Prize for, for 2020. Ranjit, can I ask you, how have you tackled those challenges and how also have you made education fun? Because that's something you really believe in. Uh, uh, it was not an easy task for me. The girls were sitting at home, taking care of their little brothers and sisters, but no one was caring about girls' education. So I invited some girls from nearby cities, nearby villages, who were studying well, inviting them in the schools, and setting with them a role model before the parents. Now look at this girl. If they can do, it means your girl can do as well. It's now your responsibility to empower your daughter and give her her birthright of quality education. I've been doing some online reading, ma'am, with my, with my niece, who's 10. So she reads a bit of a book and I read a bit of a book. So we have the shared experience. And actually, for all that, you know, it has separated us, the, the pandemic, at least with the internet, we can be connected. And there's so much that becomes possible. Well, I, I have to admit, I have to put my hand up. So before lockdown, I wasn't a great lover of the internet. In fact, I, I was always trying to wrench these machines away from my grandchildren. But uh, since lockdown, I'm afraid I have, I have to admit, I have become a little bit of an addict. During the first lockdown, um, I just thought it might be a good idea to, to make a list of some of my favourite books online, another asset of the internet. Um, so I launched a reading room, which is a book club, but it's, it's my reading room. It's fascinating how much it connects people all over the world. But you know. what it does as well is it creates a shared experience, and I think that's what we've all been missing yeah. so much, because yeah, exactly. we haven't been able to have it through yeah. sport or theatre yeah. or the usual yeah. outlet. Yeah. So actually, lots of people reading the same book and then having, you know, quite an active conversation It is. You it. could share it all, you yes. know. And I said, you, you, we've all been bereft of friends and a lot of people surrounding us, so it, it's nice to have a way of chatting. It is extraordinary, actually, how much more the internet has been able to, to give children and adults access to books. And, and Ranji, how has that um, impacted your students, being able to read online and being taught online? Yeah, they have experienced the power of internet as well. And reading online has actually improved them to expose themselves to new things. It also helped my students and improve their imagination. You know, there is no limit to imagination. What you can imagine, limitless. And also, it improves to reduce stress. Can I ask Ranjit one question? Um, there's a wonderful writing competition that I'm part of called the Queen's Commonwealth Essay Competition, where we get uh, uh, children from the Commonwealth to submit an essay. And I think it'd be lovely if you could get your girls to join in and, and write an essay. I'm definitely uh, doing that. Thank you so much for giving me opportunity. Well, thank you so much, Your Highness, and thank you to Ranjit.